Hi, this is Professor William Wagner. Welcome to Faith and Freedom. More than 20 years ago, the United Nations established uh, World Refugee Day, and that's today, June 20. Uh, so each year, uh, all around the globe on this day, we celebrate the strength and courage of people who have been forced to flee their homes uh, to escape uh, persecution. With the increased persecution of Christians around the world, uh, we do more than celebrate their strength and courage today, though. We pray for their safety uh, and that they may steadfastly stand faithful uh, as ambassadors for Christ. We pray specifically uh, for the Christians forcibly removed from their homes uh, in Nigeria. Uh, we play, pray specifically for the Christians in Afghanistan, um, where those who are in that country, when they convert to Christianity, they face torture, uh, they face being locked up for uh, insanity, uh, they face all kinds of just uh, incredible uh, persecution that we cannot even uh, in this country imagine. Uh, we pray also today on World Refugee Day for the Christians in Africa's Sahel region uh, that are forcibly, uh, again, being removed from uh, their homes. In, in that region of Africa, they're facing kidnappings. They um, have attacks on their schools. There's bombings that occur. Uh, and uh, all over the world, uh, Christian people uh, increasingly uh, face uh, the kind of persecution that we here in this nation uh, can't even uh, begin uh, to imagine. In North Korea, for example, let us pray for the Christians there who are facing torture and imprisonment and even execution if they exercise their sincerely held religious conscience proclaiming uh, Christ as king. And so uh, I think it, it will help to uh, go to the words of Christ in, in, in Matthew chapter 5, verses uh, 10 and 12. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, folks, uh, we are, are blessed to live in a country uh, where uh, the framers of our Constitution uh, said that everyone shall have the free exercise of religious conscience, and nobody uh, in government can suppress that. And so uh, we need to steadfastly uh, preserve that limit on the exercise of government power because uh, there are many throughout this country that would love to chip away at that and even uh, knock it down. And, and we see as these other examples um, show around the world and many more that uh, I didn't get to, uh, that very, very dark and bad things happen. Uh, when you remove the free exercise of religious conscience as a fundamental foundation uh, of your nation's uh, governance. And so uh, let's, let's again pray for those specific situations I talked about, but let's also understand that there are far, far uh, many more uh, that uh, we don't even know about sometimes. And so uh, may God protect them. Uh, may he keep them uh, steadfast in their faithfulness, uh, you know, to him and in his word. Uh, and, and Lord, um, we rest on your promise that blessed are uh, those who are persecuted because of righteousness and, and your promise that theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And so until next time, uh, this is Professor William Wagner for Faith and Freedom. Uh, God bless you all.